Okay, so I welcome you all to today's um, design review. And um, as you all know, my name is Tunji and I'm the founder of Caesar Graphics Academy. All right, I received four designs from the group members. Today's review is going to be different from our normal way of doing the design review. So what I'm going to be doing today is going to be more of letting each designer know what he or she needs to work on where achieving good design is concerned so, um this designer did a good job by using a bright color a bright color that makes the information on the design pop all right i like the fact that we have the background that's the images on the background not looking too uh, visible like the image of the character and for those of you that don't know most time when you make the image on your background faint all right like you don't make it too visible what you are trying to say to your audience is i want this image to serve as the background like there should be distance between this image and the elements the other content that is more visible on my project and that's why i said this designer did a good job here all right uh, but what he or she need to work on is I avoid the use of using too many space i like like avoid use of too much tracking when i say tracking um this is what i'm referring to okay so too much of tracking is not always good all right so notice we have too much we have space in between your letters here which is okay but you now having it again here is not okay all right so too much of it is going to make your design look boring and then another thing i think this design i need to work on again here is the stop being afraid of uh playing with scale all right so the use of scale all right the use of uh, um playing with scale please um i would advise this designer to um work on it all right scale is also important on your design project okay so now the scale part also also means hierarchy for those of you that don't know hierarchy all right it's also it's also part of it and then another thing you also need to work on if you are the person that made this design is um always allow room all right always give room between your elements this uh day here is too close to this box here okay please watch out for that on your next design project yeah so but listen guys uh what i'm sharing here with you is not a law all right it's not a rule okay but i'm just sharing what will help this project look more um nice there are times where you need to do this like what this designer did here but you only do it when you are trying to um um let's say you're trying to create a group all right when i say group i'm referring to proximity so let's go straight to our thought design there's a reason why you are asked to work on every design project and that reason is what shaped the look of the design but part of how you will now make the project look interesting is when you make something unique like make it look unusual make it look different from what people are used to that is what draw people's attention to your design project then the other thing you need to work on again is your layout layout good layout is what make good design successful all right good layout is what make good design successful the use of images the use of characters on your project is not the real deal it's not the reason why the design exists the reason why this design exists is the story behind the design all right it's the story behind the design so when you're working on design project the first thing you need to check to you need to put in place is okay who am i targeting why this project and shape how you are now going to put all of this together to build the image like the picture that you want to use to draw your audience attention then the other part you need to work on again if you're this person is the part of color now color all right combining color the right way is part of what always help the success of your design project in fact i think i shared this last week the use of color the right way is another way of covering the secret of door designs Okay, so when you combine color well, it will help the look of uh, your design. Now, I don't want to look as if I'm just saying this without not letting you guys know my point here or trying to make you understand my point. I'm going to share my screen with you guys now. I'm going to go to my Pinterest page and I'm going to scroll slowly for you guys to see that 
there's always something different making something different on your design project is is what draw people's attention to the design the use of color is what make it look more interesting so i'm going to share my screen now if you look at my screen now you see we have different thumbnails of designs with different colors but you notice that aside from the colors you notice that each of the design have something different from the normal way people are used to seeing things all right so i'm going to scroll slowly now so you guys can see my screen all right i know some of you have some of these designs on your pinterest page but um these are the ones i think that um, i enjoyed the layout and everything all right so if you look at this design here you'll notice that the aside from us having the characters here the designer played with the you know the title the text and then we have all this effect here and um, let me see again this is another beautiful one here there's another beautiful one here let's look at this all right and look at this so things like these are what always help the success of our design so if you are this designer please 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 and please try work on making something different on your design project all right so let's go straight to our fourth design for today all right so this design here looks too too flat for me and it, it it looks you know somehow looks uh permit permit me to use the word uh childish and you know the reason why i believe it's looking like that is because not using the right illustration on your project is not going to help it at all it's not going to make it look mature all right so then uh the use of illustration so avoid the use of um you know illustrations that are not really okay on your um design project then the other thing you need to work on if you're this designer is the use of scale all right the use of you know hierarchy on your design projects where you know making people know what to see first no i yeah i know you try to do that here but the scaling is not really perfect it's not really it looks as if the elements are too close to each other all right it looks as if they are too close to uh, each other in terms of sizes. So you need to also, um, you know, um, work on that. I notice what you're trying to say here is this information here are different points. But it would have been nice if you have something like lines separating them. So when they see it, they know that each line is a point on its own. Okay, so you need to... Um, also uh work on that okay then um what else again the making your uh then your alignments all right the making your element flush to different direction is not um okay all right the making it face different direction is not okay so you also need to work on that most time making your the way you flush the information of your design is part of how you create contrast all right it's also part of how you create contrast but there's a way you now need to play with it that it will help uh the success of your design so i'm going to stop here on this and i hope you guys learned something if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and also share this with your graphic design friends and family and i'll see you in the next one peace